Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. This is a simple tutorial on how to create an autoresponder in Outlook 2010. So let's begin. In Outlook, go ahead and click on New as if you were creating a new email. And here, type your autoresponder uh, message. In this case, I'll be on vacation for a week. Supposed to be right. You can even add your signature if you want to. Once you have the message ready, go ahead and click on File and then click on Save As. I'm going to save my template on the desktop, but you can save it anywhere you wish on the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Desktop and here create a new folder and then name this folder Template. You can name it however you wish. Perfect. Once you're done, double click to go into the folder and then here change the file name to something more uh, recognizable like vacation in this case and then in the uh, save as type click on the drop down and select Outlook template OFT notice that it changed the uh, file extension and it also changed the directory folder so we need to go back and look for our created folder. Mine is in the desktop here, template folder, and then click on save. Perfect. Now we close here. Do you want to save changes? No. And then click on rules, drop down, and select manage rules and alerts here click on new rule and then select apply rules on message I receive click on next and then select sent only to me and click on next now here select uh, reply using a specific template and click on a specific template in the bottom and where it says look in in the drop down select user templates in file system then click on browse to browse for that template we created mine is in the desktop here inside the uh, template folder select the folder click OK and here is the OFT go ahead and click on open and perfect. I have the vacation OFT inside of the template folder in the desktop. Click on next. Uh, any exceptions? No. So I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And here I can change the uh, specified name for this rule. I'm going to change it to vacation. Perfect. Make sure it's turned on and click on finish. And then click apply. And then click on OK. Perfect. Now, if you're not going on vacation just yet, you can modify the rule. You just need to click on rule again on the drop down and click on manage rules and alert. And here you can remove the vacation and then click apply. Whenever you're ready, Go ahead and recheck, uh, recheck the uh, vacation rule and then click apply like you see here. Perfect. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.